Hello everyone. Happy Tom Ford Tuesday. Welcome to our first official Tom Ford Tuesday for 2024. Happy New Year, Tom Ford family. How are we? So we're going to start off Tom Ford Tuesday right for 2024 with a brand new collection. The Love Collection from Tom Ford. I'm excited about it, but there's some things we need to talk about. Yes, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm going to share everything with you. We're going to swatch. We're going to demo. We're going to, you know, dabble on it and see all the things because we need to know. Yes, we do. Let's hydrate and begin. Our official first Tom Ford Tuesday for 2024. Yay. I think this is a great way to start it. Okay. With a brand new collection. But I have not received this many DMs from you guys ever. Okay, and I think it's because of the fact that a particular product in the collection is a relaunch and it's something you all recently told me to get and I did. <laughs> that probably has something to do with it. So, I mean, let's start there. Let's start off with the eye color quad uh, in Honeymoon, but... It's not just any old honeymoon, you know? But what they did with this particular collection is they did it in limited edition red packaging and they put hearts. That is so cute. Okay, bottom line, undeniably, that's really cute. Here's the thing. If you already have honeymoon, skip it. No big deal. It's cute, but you don't need it. Okay, here you go. I just de-influenced de you. <laughs> I mean, it's reality. You don't need it. You've already got it. Move on with your life. But if you don't have Honeymoon, I, I still can't believe I just got Honeymoon, but if you don't have Honeymoon, <laughs> get it. This looks like the cutest packaging. Honeymoon is a beautiful color story. It's very practical. It's very realistic. It's gorgeous. Honeymoon, there is no denying that she is a beautiful color story. We're going to create a look with her today. Yes, we are. Because if you don't have it and you're interested in it because of this beautiful packaging, I'm going to quickly share a look with you. So that's the first product. Look at it as, oh my goodness, this is so cute. I don't have it. Let me get it and enjoy that cuteness. Or if you've got it, leave it alone. Let's move on to the other parts of the collection. But I mean, I, I can totally see the frustration with the fact that where's the new stuff? <laughs> Give us new eyeshadow palettes. Don't just give us limited edition packaging, as cute as it is. I get it. I totally understand. So let's move on to the other things. <laughs> we have a blush, and I have to say, the limited edition packaging, it is really nice. Check that out. It's red. Ah. The, the limited edition packaging, they did do right, okay? I, I like it. I feel that when Tom Ford does do limited edition packaging, it's done nicely. So, the blush. So this is a powder brush, blush, <laughs> can't speak, the excitement. <laughs> this is a, a covetable heart-shaped powder blush that creates an impeccably sensual peachy glow. So the blush is in the shade 01 Love Scene, and it, like it said, it's in a peachy glow. So she does come in the sleeve, and it's red too. <laughs> So this is a heart-shaped powder blush that adds natural dimension and buildable warm coral peach color to the face. It sweeps on effortlessly, <laughs> the way they write these things, <laughs> for a soft, even, lit from within finish. All right, so we've got Tom Ford here on the packaging, and then there she is. Ah, it's red on red on red. I love it. I have to say, the packaging, nice. It's good. It's gorgeous. I like it a lot, actually. So here is the blush, and look at the heart. It's so cute. Again, this is a coral peachy. So we will see how this looks applied. I haven't swatched her, I haven't anything. It's pretty. Now it says it does give a lit from within glow. Um, If you're familiar with uh, Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blushes, the ones that have like half and half, one's like more matte, one's more luminous. I'm interested to see how this is going to be because those, they kind of blur the skin and give a glow. But a very soft look from within natural. You look well. These are made in Italy. So the blush is really cute. I can't wait to get it on the face, but let's give her a quick swatch. Very soft to the touch. Very soft, corally. 
peach. Yeah, the description's quite accurate. It's really a corally peach. Very pretty. And, and you can see just a bit of the glow. It does build up, so it's pigmented, but it's soft. And the finish, as you can see, you do have a bit of glow, but it's nothing shimmery or anything like that. It is that true lit from within kind of glow. Oh, okay. All right, so that was the blush. Now, now this collection also released two lipsticks. So both lipsticks are in the lip color mattes, which are for a matte, they're pretty creamy. So limited edition lipsticks that smooth comfortably onto the lips, delivering a classic velvety matte texture in richly pigmented hues. So there are two shades. The first one is 100-100. Now, I admit, when I first saw that, I said, mm, maybe they're not done, you know, uploading it to the site or something. I don't know. But that seems to be the color. 100, 100. 100, 100. That's it. And then the other one is an existing shade, number 16, Scarlet Rouge. And I'm going to share both with you. So a little continuation on with description. The exquisite formula instantly moisturizes lips and offers 10 hours of fade resistant non feathering color. Each velvety soft shade delivers impeccable polish and irresistible glamour. The formula comes in richly pigmented hues for sultry neutrals to bold. So, in other words, there's a ton of colors, and there are. Um, yeah, another product made in Italy. And ah, the cute red packaging continues. 100, 100. Got the packaging to match. And then the shade Scarlet Rouge. I recently decluttered it because I had it for a while. Um, but here I have a sample size for you. <laughs> I made sure to get the products. <laughs> Let's swatch the shade 100, 100. And then the only thing about this is the finish. It's not matte. This is like the regular satin lipstick, but this is the color that it would be in matte. So. These two lipsticks, they're both very wearable. They would both look great for Valentine's Day or for your season of love. Because <laughs> this collection is supposed to represent that. So, very pretty. So this is the entire Love Collection by Tom Ford. Don't mind my dogs barking. Sorry about that. Um, these are swatches of the entire Love Collection. Honeymoon Eyeshadow, Love Scene Blush, Scarlet Rouge, and 100-100 Lipstick. All right, now that we've got those fun details out of the way, let's create a look using this new love collection. So I'm just looking at Honeymoon Quad and I'm thinking, so since this is the love collection, <laughs> what's a look I would wear out on a date to celebrate love? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this shade. Yes. I'm just going to pack this on my number 13, Tom Ford. And I'm going to start that on the outer eye. Whoa, now, hold on a minute. It's Tom Ford Tuesday. You know the full face is Tom Ford. I cannot tell you how much I am loving mixing 7.2 and 7.7 .7 on the face. I find it to be perfect, okay? And then, guys, hold on. This is quick, I promise. But I noticed these are not on sale anymore. Remember that whole debacle? They were on sale for like $45. Now they're not. And all the shades are back. And I just saw it on Nordstrom. So I don't know what that means. Were they messing with us? Were they just trying to get feedback without asking for feedback? If I'm keeping an eye out. Trust and believe. <laughs> and, you know, I pulled out an old favorite. One product that I really hope they do do something with is this little guy, the Emotion Proof Concealer. I love this concealer so much. I mean, I use it so much. Look, this is my most repurchased Tom Ford concealer. It doesn't even have the applicator anymore, but I still like, I still manage to get the product out, okay? This is good. I use this today. <laughs> everything we talk about, everything I've got applied, 
will be listed and linked down below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to our look. So I'm going into this shade and we're gonna build this up on the outer eye. And again, this is the number 13. It's like the fluffy blender brush from Tom Ford. I will tell you that this color makes a beautiful one and done. I have been getting on well with it with that as using it as that. <laughs> because this palette is newer to me. I had recently picked up this and Disco Dust based on your recommendations and I love it so much. So outer eye and then whatever's left, I bring it in the crease. But I'm not blowing it out too much. I don't want it to be, you know, too, too much. Just enough. I don't want to make it too dramatic, just enough, you know? You really can't go wrong with Honeymoon. It is a true classic as far as color stories when it comes to Tom Ford. But, I don't know, maybe give us, you know, a repromoted color, which is fine, okay? Because, of course, there's still people who don't have it or need to refresh and get a new one, whatever the case may be, right? But maybe give us Honeymoon and then give us one new one in that cute packaging with the heart, okay? Because the packaging really is cute, you know? But I just got this Honeymoon. <laughs> I don't want to go get another one. That would be silly. As you can see, Honeymoon, she blends, she builds, she applies beautifully. Another thing um, is I am very interested. I'm just still the same color, just evening it out as I speak to you. It's more going to be a little bit of a talkity talk kind of thing. Um, I'm very, very curious to see what 2024 will be with Tom Ford, you know? <sighs> it's always nerve wracking, you know, when there's changes, but change is good sometimes and we will see. <laughs> Right? All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at with this one color. Now let's get another brush. Oh my gosh, this brush has glitter. That's no good. I need to wash my brushes. It's my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> I think that's how I ended up with so many brushes. I, I mean, I'll admit. Yeah. Comfort number 11. Let's go into this shade here. And I'm going to pack that on the centermost portion. I love this shade so much. How gorgeous it goes with the like cranberry-esque shade we have applied, right? Yeah. And it just goes on so easy. That's the one thing I love most about uh, the formula with Tom Ford, and I hope they never mess with it, is this is such a beautiful formula. It's an easy formula. You don't have to do a lot, but it looks like you did. And we love that. So I applied that on the centermost portion, going back in with the fluffy brush, no product, just blending, just, you know, to perfect. Everything nice and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the number 11 and now I'm gonna go into this lightest shade here. And let's put that on the inner portion and the beginning portion of the lid. And look just how pretty. See, and we're not here spending a very long time doing the most. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of a brown in my waterline, and then we'll do a little something quick on the lower lash line. This is Westman Atelier. Again, everything's listed and linked below. Tom Ford number 12 brush. Let's go into the darkest shade. So technically, we'll have used every single shade in Honeymoon. So you can see. So just picking up this darkest shade, I am going to tap. because I don't really want a lot. I don't want to make this look too dramatic. Deek, but I want to do a little something down here. And I'm just focusing on the outermost portion. Now I just kind of cleaned off the brush really quick and whatever is left, just blend. No harshness, everything is smooth, everyone is happy. 
be... It's Tom Ford Tuesday, but Hermes Mascara is, oh, is pretty good, and I just started using it. Yes, I still love my Valentino. Hello. <laughs> it's red. I should use it, but this is brown, and I feel like it's going to go nice with the look. So a couple of coats of this, and then let's try that blush and the lipstick. So you can see what everything looks like. Plus, I'm really curious what that blush is going to look like. Look at Honeymoon on the eyes. Love these colors. They always make me feel so good because they're so easy, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. We need to try the blush from Sonia G. This is the Cheek Pro. I am getting kick up. So it is a nice, soft, powdery, but not overly soft formula. Curious to see what this is going to look like on me. Okay, I'm building and it's building, but... She's a little light. She's a little light. Right? She's a little light. Hold on. Turn my lights down a second. It's giving me that flush, you know, but I still feel it's a little light. Right? Right. <laughs> I'm going to try another brush. Let's see. This one is very... <sighs> I don't know. This is a Wayne Goss. His brushes are completely different now. Um... So this is really built up. Let's pick up with this brush. This one is super soft. And it's not dense at all. Like, look. See? Don't get me wrong. The color is very pretty. I just don't see this to be a very universally flattering all skin tones blush you know but it's pretty though <laughs> it's pretty hmm. I think I like it with this brush better it's giving a much nicer blend so definitely looks pretty on the skin but the color is, I still feel how I feel about the color. I feel like some angles you can see what I'm saying with like it being a little light. And it's not giving me peachy. It is giving me like a coral pink. It's described as a coral peachy tone. Let me just double check. Yeah, coral peachy. Um, but this is more coral pink on me. Obviously, it's going to probably translate a little bit different on everyone else, but... But there is the blush. All right, let's try out these lipsticks and see. So I did prep my lips with the Tom Ford lip oil. I'm gonna remove that and then let's try the lipstick. 100, 100, <laughs> right? Yeah, 100, 100. What does that even mean? I feel like someone's gonna know. So please come below and let us all know. <laughs> all right, let's see. One swipe. Oh, this is going to be a your lips a better color on me. I like that. Mm -hmm. I tell you, these mattes, they're so creamy. I could totally tolerate it. Because <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of matte. Last six. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I can't say it enough but for a matte it's so creamy and comfortable yeah this is an easy color to wear it's pretty so that's that one and then let me give you a swatch of scarlet rouge which is a beautiful red all right scarlet rouge let's see I always do that one swipe just for us to see the pigmentation and the glide. 
in Scarlet Rouge. Hello. <laughs> I love a good red lipstick. And Scarlet Rouge is a beautiful color of red. Because I know there's like a thousand reds, but you know. She's cute. <laughs> Both colors are nice in the collection. Um, maybe we could have, could have, got a, should have, would have got a pink. Because <laughs> it's love. But I think what we got was nice. All right, here's our full face of the Love Collection for 2024 from Tom Ford. Now that the blush kind of has been on for a moment, I feel it's fine. Sometimes blush does that with me. I put it on and then I need to let it like warm up in my skin. I'm just going with some highlight. Um, but I think it looks fine now. So that lets you know that it's not going to work for everybody, which is, <clears throat> come on, Tom. Come on, Tom Ford. Can't do that to us. <laughs> um, but here is everything from the collection. Honeymoon, the blush, the lipstick. I did go in with my Sicily lip liner in chocolate. And then the lipstick. And then <laughs> the lip oil on top. That's just what I would do. And that's what I'm going to do for the the rest of the day I, I still have a little bit of day left and I still have some things to do so this is how I'm going out um but yeah overall this is a beautiful collection okay it's fair to say it's cute with the hearts if you're into that I think the red packaging is a beautiful touch like I said Tom Ford does a great job when it comes to like the limited edition packaging I, I like it I really liked the white <laughs> the white and the black like the limited edition packaging is nice, okay? And oh, again, if I didn't have Honeymoon, I would be all over those hearts. <laughs> but if you've got Honeymoon and you love it, stick to it. If you've got Honeymoon and you need to replenish it or you've never tried Honeymoon, get the one with the hearts. It's really cute. <laughs> if you're into that, you know what I mean? I think the aesthetic, the vibe, it's cute. And it's really on theme. <laughs> Overall performance, nice. The blush, you understand the whole color situation, but the quality blends into the skin really, really beautifully. The lipsticks are beautiful. Overall, a really nice collection. We could have done a little better with the blush color or give us another one so that, you know, it's a little bit more depth for different skin tones, you know, all the things. Um, but what we have and what I've tried here today, nice performing products, but... <laughs> Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about all the things. I'll be very curious to see as 2024 continues what happens and what continues to happen with Tom Ford. <laughs> Happy Tom Ford Tuesday, everyone. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.